morning everybody and welcome to Omni's Eat. I'm going to be filming a full day of eating today and I have all my stuff here on the table or on, on the table on the stove behind me. I'm going to show you what I'm going to make and yeah let's go ahead and get into it. I think I'm only going to have two meals today because it is 10:39 today. It is President's Day. I'm filming this Monday. You guys are seeing it only a day and a half after I film it or a little bit after less than two days after I finish it off but anyway um, it is President's Day today, so I slept in until 9.30, which was amazing. John and I actually went away for the weekend um, because it was his birthday. I don't know if you guys knew that, but John's birthday was um, in February, but his birthday, uh, we went away for the weekend. So I got to sleep in this morning. Um, but we had some late nights, you know, staying up and hanging out and doing stuff and all that good stuff when you not don't have kids, right? Um, we went to a couple of wineries and we went to um, some different like restaurants and stuff we've never been to. We went to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. So we spent a lot of time just walking around the downtown area and Gettysburg is full of history and you know what I mean? It's just, it was a really nice time to get away and just like really enjoy history and enjoy environment and enjoy architecture. I'm a big architecture nut if you guys didn't know that. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. This is supposed to be what I ate today. Um, but I love looking at the old architecture. Um, and even though it's not like, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years old, there is a lot of old architecture in, in Gettysburg. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm making for breakfast. So, like I said, I'm only going to have two meals today. Um, I'm not 100% certain what we're eating for dinner just yet. But... This is what I'm going to be having for breakfast. So I've got a little bit of Kerrygold butter here. I'm going to throw in the pan to make my eggs. I'm going to have three of these Kirkland um, egg organic eggs. Um, so I'm going to have three of those. I'm going to have one piece of this Great Value organic pork sausage. I'm going to have one serving of this Kirkland Mexican style cheese. And I'm going to have one of these Smart Buns. I've actually had these in the freezer for a little while. I think they may have reformulated them since I bought them. I bought these, oh my gosh, probably eight or nine months ago. Um, and I bought two boxes of them and I'm still working through them. Um, anyway, I'm going to have one of these smart buns. I'm going to make an egg and sausage and cheese sandwich. I'm going to just melt the cheese into the eggs, scrambled eggs. Um, so it'll be nice and cheesy, but I'm going to eat them on a smart bun because I have them. So I was thinking about making some like 90 second bread in the, in the microwave or something like that. But uh, I was watching a Keto Connect video and they were trying these and I was like, wait a minute, I have some of those in the freezer. Um, that's their macros. They're 72 calories, but they're zero net carbs because it's pretty much all fiber and erythritol. They're, um, well, let me show you. Um, not sure if you guys can see that. There you go. 16 carbs, 12 fiber, 4 erythritol. So there's zero net carbs. Um, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and make myself an egg and sausage sandwich. Oh, and I have a Mountain Dew Zero here as well that I'm going to start drinking. I'm just going to drink that because, like I said, I'm not going to have a second meal. This is going to be uh, meal number one. I'm not going to have three meals is what I should have said. This is meal number one. And then I am planning on having a, a second meal for, like, dinner time, maybe around 4 or 5 o'clock this evening. So we'll see. Um, I have decided, and I talked about this a little bit on my vlog that posted for the 17th. Um, it probably posted yesterday by the time you're watching this. Um, but one thing that I noticed when doing the egg fast for last week's video is that I really need to have some, I need to have something that's going to help my digestion. And I have found for me, not everybody, but I have found for me that yogurt, I'm turning it backwards, yogurt really helps my digestion. So I really enjoy yogurt anyway. So I think for the foreseeable future, that I'm going to be using that as like my dessert um, after dinner. I'm going to probably stop eating that for breakfast and eat that more as a dessert after dinner. Um, for now, I have gained some some weight. I told you guys that at the f egg fast and I did lose some weight, but then after I did the egg fast, we did John's birthday weekend. I honestly was having stuff that I should not have eaten. I had a piece of pie for his birthday. Um, I had a sticky bun for his birthday. I also had a uh, wine that had a lot of carbs in it. So I didn't take my blood sugar all weekend. Um, but I gained some weight because my body, when I eat sugar, just puts on the pounds really, really quickly. So I did lose weight uh, on the egg fast, but I gained all of it plus back um, over this past weekend and the week leading up to the weekend. So I need to get back on the ball and be a lot more cognizant of what I am consuming. 
and I'm gonna start trying to do that. So uh, I've been a little bit more lax over the last three or four months with the holidays and everything going on, um, and I need to do a, a better job. So I'm gonna have this for breakfast, and when it gets time for dinner, I will let you know what that's gonna be, and then like I said, I'm probably gonna just have yogurt for my dessert tonight, so. All right, I'm gonna put this together and show you what it all looks like when it's ready to go. All right, y'all, my breakfast is ready. I forgot to tell you that I was gonna put a serving of heavy whipping cream in my eggs. So I'm gonna turn around the camera and let you see what it is. All right, so this is what it looks like. I've got three scrambled eggs. I just couldn't all fit on the bun. I do have a sausage patty on the bottom there, and then my bun. And I, like I said, I do have a serving of heavy whipping cream mixed into my scrambled eggs. Um, but, and a serving of the Mexican style cheese. So this is gonna be my breakfast. And like I said, I'm gonna actually be skipping lunch. So I'll see you guys at dinner. I'm gonna eat this up and I will see you at dinner. All right, you guys, so I'm starting to prep for dinner and I just wanted to show you what I'm using. So here over my corn, my shoulder, you can see there's six pork chops here. This is uh, gonna be the main part of the dinner. And I'm actually gonna be using this right here. Let me actually lift it up. This is, um, from Sam's Club, bacon cheddar ranch dip. It's from Members Mark. I'm gonna actually scoop this over the top of the pork chops and let it cook in the dip. So this is more of like a marinade almost. It's got a lot of ingredients. It's probably not the best health-wise, but um, it does taste pretty good. So I'm gonna actually, we're doing some cleaning out of our cabinet. But anyway, um, I'm gonna, uh, scoop this over top of the pork chops, throw it in a 400 degree oven, and that's just gonna hopefully give it some really nice flavor to the pork chops. So, just wanted to show that to you before I threw it in the oven, but just, you know, pork chops. <laughs> Two and a half pounds of pork chops that I got at, at Sam's Club, and then the bacon cheddar ranch dip that I'm gonna put over top. Just wanted to show it to you, and I will talk to you again when it's time for dinner. All right, y'all, my dinner is ready, and I'm gonna show it to you. Just something really simple and easy. I mean, I already showed you the pork chops and the dip, and I'm putting green beans on the side. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what it looks like. So here we are. This is just the, I put that I had two tablespoons. I think I probably had closer to maybe one, one and a half, but I put two tablespoons of the dip in my um, app, and then in my pork chop, and then my green beans, I sprinkled them with some of this uh, Himalayan pink salt. So this is gonna be my dinner. So I'm looking at my calories. Calorie wise, I'm really good. Um, fat, I'm really kind of on the lower end. So I have to figure out what I wanna do for, for my dessert. Um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and do the yogurt like I mentioned earlier, but I might have to have a fat bomb or maybe two fat bombs, um, which I think will still fit in my calories, but I have to look. So, I will let you know when it's time for dessert, what I end up eating. Right now, it is a couple minutes till five o'clock, so it's not quite five o'clock yet. So, I'm probably gonna wait a couple of hours to eat dessert, um, maybe around seven, somewhere in there. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm gonna go ahead and eat my pork chop with the bacon ranch dip and my green beans. So, I will let you know when it's time for dessert. All right, you guys, so it is time for dessert. It is actually about eight o'clock. It's a couple minutes after eight o'clock, and I look a little bit different because I was filming some videos for my beauty channel tonight, so I do have some makeup on. It's, I just look a little bit different, that's okay. Anyway, time for dessert. I'm gonna have a Too Good yogurt. I'm going to put in it a little bit of this vanilla caramel cream skinny syrup from Jordan's Skinny Syrups. Um, I haven't tried this flavor yet. I've tried a couple of uh, the other flavors that, that uh, Jordan Skinny makes and I have liked them all so far. So this is vanilla, oh, vanilla caramel cream. Did I say vanilla caramel cream or did I just say vanilla cream? Vanilla caramel cream. And then I'm gonna put two servings of my Lily's chocolates. I just keep them in here to try to keep them fresh. And then um, there, did I say that they're semi-sweet ones? Let me show you the packaging, hold on. It is the Lily's semi-sweet baking chips. That is what is in that little bag. So I'm gonna use two servings of those baking chips. Um, and then I'm also gonna have two fat bombs because my fat is too low. I'm still not gonna hit my, my goal and I'm over on my protein because I had those pork chops um, for dinner and they were primarily protein, no fat. So I'm gonna have two slim fast um, fat bombs. I'm gonna have a caramel cup and a peanut butter cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix my yogurt together and then I will show you what it all looks like. 
All right, so this is gonna be my dessert. I have two servings of those chocolate chips, um, just a dash of that syrup, and then my yogurt, and then I have my two fat bombs. So this is gonna be my dessert tonight. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put up here beside my head a picture of the, don't mind all of our packaging things, Ziploc bags and so forth. But anyway, beside my head is gonna be a picture from Carb Manager. I tried that app today and I'm not really loving it all that much. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not calculating everything 100%. Um, one thing that it is doing that I do like is that I do have an Apple Watch that I wear. If you've ever caught it in my um, videos, I wear an Apple Watch which tracks all my movement. So it is accounting in the calories for the calories I burned, which um, my fitness pal doesn't do that or at least it doesn't do it exactly so like I looked about an hour ago and the uh, app the card manager app was giving me about 270 calories and then I went into my fitness pal and it only gave me 15 calories so there's a bit of a difference there um, but anyway so um, I'm gonna throw that picture up here. You pr are probably already seen it. Uh, overall, my um, my uh, macros were fantastic today. I will say too that for some reason, one of the fat bombs is not showing up as having any calories, even though it has 90 calories. So I'm not exactly sure 100% what's going on there. But anyway, this is gonna be the last thing that I consume today. I've been drinking a lot of water. I have more water to drink yet before I go to bed, to be honest with you, because I am feeling a little dehydrated. I wasn't, I did not drink as much today as I normally do um, because I was running around and doing different things. So anyway, that's gonna be it for my full day of eating. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have any comments, leave those as well. And please hit that subscribe button. Lots of other keto content um, coming in the future, so. I hope you enjoy it. I hope to see you on the next Donnie's Eat. Bye, guys.